My name is Jason Nikoff and I'm with Tennessee State University and in this segment we're going to be making biodiesel uh, based on the oil that we pressed previously and also the titrations that we did in the laboratory. Okay, so you'll notice that Richard's wearing the proper protective equipment. He's got his Tyvek suit, he's also got uh, his rubber gloves and his respirator and behind him we've got a fan going and we've got our our trailer opened up and that's going to provide uh, plenty of ventilation so that there's no issues from either the methanol or from the potassium hydroxide that we're using so what we've got is uh, Richard is using the biodiesel processor right now to uh, pump in some methanol into the smaller uh, cone bottom tank that you see here. Okay, so now we've added the methanol and usually when you're adding methanol, it depends upon the amount of oil that you're using. You wanna add about 20% of the volume of oil that you're trying to convert to biodiesel. So in our case, we've got 20 gallons of oil, so we would wanna have about four gallons of methanol. Now the next thing uh, we're going to do is Richard's going to add the potassium hydroxide that we weighed out in the lab and that's based on the titration experiments. So he's going to take the potassium hydroxide that's been pre-weighed and he's going to add it into the same uh, small cone bottom tank as the methanol that's already in there. City. Today I'm going to talk to you about the additional parts of adding your methanol to your oil, already filtered oil, after you've preheated the oil to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So before we've added the methanol with Mr. Link, we've had the recirculating pump here on with the inline heater on for about four hours prior to adding the methanol. And we've raised the temperature of the oil on this gauge here from about 50 degrees this morning to right at 100. So right now, we're gonna open valve number four and we're gonna turn on the methanol pump, which will add the methanol into the large tank. So what you've got now, we've run the methanol pump on and then we've turned the, we've cycled the main recirculating pump on and off and now we've got it back on and it's gradually flowing all the methanol and the potassium hydroxide mixture out of the large, out of the small tank and up through this recirculating into the big tank. And the other thing that you've noticed is that the, the temperature has risen about 20 degrees because that's the heat from the reaction of the methanol, the potassium hydroxide and the oil. And now we're just waiting on the remainder of the methanol and potassium hydroxide to drain out of the small tank into the recirculating pump and into the large tank. Then once that happens, we'll leave the recirculating pump on for about two to two and a half hours to allow the reaction to continue. One thing you will have noticed is we've turned off the supplemental heat because now with the reaction going on, you've gained heat. You don't need to continue to add heat. The difference in the coloration in this large tank is the reaction beginning to happen. That's the methanol and the potassium hydroxide slowly starting to react with the oil. And then as we reopen valve number three, once all the methanol is out of the small tank, which it appears it's just about out right now, we'll close valve four back off and reopen valve three and create the recirculation of the entire thing. And then this whole thing will begin to transition to the lighter color as the reaction takes place. Then the glycerol, the darker glycerol and the leftover methanol will fall to the bottom because it's more dense and that's what you'll run off and everything that's light colored above that will become the diesel fuel, the biodiesel. And now you see as we've opened valve three and created 
complete recirculation of all the oil in the large tank, the temperatures drop back down because we've added more cool oil into the reaction. The complete reaction will take about uh, two and a half to three hours. So during the recirculation process, during the reaction, we've turned the heater back on to make sure that the heat stays at 100, around 100 degrees of the oil. But right now, the reaction is just about completed. So we're going to go ahead and turn the heater and turn the recirculation pump off. And we're going to let the mixture settle out to where the glycerol will be at the bottom like we talked about earlier. That takes about 12 hours. So we're going to let this rest overnight. And in the morning, we'll drain the glycerol off and, and have the biodiesel.